We're back for the 27th episode of The Probe, and we're taking a look at Maryland senior point guard Anthony Cowens. I'm a big fan of Cowens, always have been. He elevated his game in many aspects during the 1920 season, especially in the closing games area, which is why I felt Maryland had a legit chance at a national championship run due to Cowens' ability to close. His all-around impact came out in one of his best games as a Terp on the road at Michigan State. Let's take a look. Strengths. Curl action from the baseline. Jalen Smith sets the screen, giving Cowens just enough daylight to knock down a three-point over Michigan State freshman Rocket Watts. Cowens sets up in the left corner as Eric Ayala brings the ball up. Jalen Smith screens while Ayala pops out to the top of the key. Ayala passes Smith the ball. Off the ball, Dante Scott sets the screen on Watts, which gives Cowens room to get the ball from Smith, dribbling over to hand the rock to him. Michigan State Xavier Tillman does a good job of hedging and getting a hand up which forces Cowens to hesitate. As Tillman runs back to Smith, who is dropping to the basket, Watts is a half step too slow to take away Cowens' airspace, and Cowens makes him pay with another three-pointer. Despite his size, Cowens is known for consistent, tough shot making. Cowens does a good job of meeting Michigan State point guard Cassius Winston, who's pushing the ball up the floor at the top of the key. Cowens slides his feet, forcing Winston to pass it out to Aaron Henry. Henry misses the triple. But Cowens grabs the rebound. Cowens, who sees Michigan State still running back to the get set up on defense, goes coast to coast and draws the foul on Winston. This was just a smart, smart play from Cowens. Cowens is defending Winston. Winston tries to run Cowens off multiple screens, but Cowens does a great job of fighting over those screens and staying with Winston. As Winston gets the ball back from big man Xavier Tillman, Winston drives and kicks it out to Tillman, who is wide open from three-point range. Tillman misses and Cowens runs down the rebound, races up the floor, finding a hustling Jaden Smith for the basket. This play is a senior preying on a freshman. Watts is glued to Cowens as Cowens looks to lose him, running around various screens. Finally, Cowens just comes straight to Ayala to get the ball. Watts defends Cowens close, taking away his airspace, but leaves his arms extended. Cowens sees this and quickly raises up through Watts' arms into his shot drawing a shooting foul, which results in three free throws. I love this. When you're a smaller guard, in my eyes, you should consider disrespect if the opposing guard is comfortable dribbling against you. Cowens picks up Spartans guard Foster Lawyer. Cowens gets right at them defensively, knocking the ball loose and off Lawyer as they hit the ground battling for the loose ball. Outstanding defense from Cowens. Xavier Tillman spins towards the baseline on Jalen Smith but finds himself underneath the basket. Tillman, whose momentum is carrying him out of bounds, jumps and attempts to pass the ball back out to Winston, which Cowens intercepts. He races up the floor and passes it to Daryl Morzell, who then throws a quick pass inside to Jalen Smith, who beat Tillman down the floor for a lay-in. Classic situation turning offense into defense. Dribble handoff between Cowens and Morzell. Cowens goes to the left corner. Morzell now has the ball at the top of the key. Morzell drives left on Aaron Henry. Watts leaves Cowens to dig now on a driving Morzell. Morzell passes out to a wide open Cowens who knocks down a big three. This was Cowens' first bucket in the second half. A lot of mental toughness by staying ready to hit the shot. Cowens drives right around Smith's screen. Tillman hedges out cutting off Cowens and allowing Watts time to get back on Cowens defensively. Cowens passes to Aaron Wiggins. Wiggins pump fakes it from three-point range and drives left. Watts makes a huge mistake leaving Cowens, who's been on target from deep, to dig down on the driving Wiggins. Wiggins passes back out to Cowens, who has to go ahead three. Cold-blooded shot. Maryland up two with 29 seconds left and a ball in Cowens' hands. Maryland goes back to what's been working down the stretch, a two-man game between Cowens and Smith. Cowens runs off back-to-back -back screens from Smith. The second screen, Watts makes another defensive mistake by going under the screen. Cowens recognizes he has daylight and doesn't think twice. He lets it fly from deep, putting in a dagger in Michigan State. Big-time shot from a big-time player. 
after going scoreless for the first 1755 in the second half, he took over and won the game from Maryland down the stretch and one of the toughest play the toughest places to play in on the on the road and all the college basketball weaknesses. Maryland's out of whack offensively, which happens at times playing against Michigan State. Cowens runs and gets the ball from Scott. He then passes to Morzell. Morzell passes it back out to Cowens, but Cowens had already started running to the elbow to space the floor. The ball nearly goes in the backcourt, but Cowens runs it down. As the shot clock is running down, he looks to break down Watts, but throws a bad pass out of Yala, which goes out of bounds. Silly mistake that a senior point guard has no business making. Wiggins fights for an offensive rebound, but he loses control of the ball. Aaron Henry recovers and takes it all the way, drawing a foul on Dante Scott. Cowens was next to Henry as Henry gathered the loose ball, but instead of hustling back to potentially make a play on Henry, he jaws back. That can't ever happen, especially from a small guard who thrives off speed and quickness. Those little defensive laps lapses can have big effects later on. Down one with a little over two minutes left, Michigan State forward Thomas Keithy and looks to dribble handoff to Watts. Cowens tried to jump the exchange to get the steal, but fouls Watts. I get what he was looking to do, but due to the time and being down one, you can't afford cheap fouls, which could potentially put Michigan State on the line for free throw attempts down the stretch. I get it. Cowens is a small point guard, so will he be able to translate his game to the NBA level? I believe so, due to the many ways he's able to impact the game. Shot making from all three levels, being a willing defender, great at pick and roll actions being a good leader, good core vision, and passing ability. With the right franchise, I believe Cowens will develop and eventually shine in his role. Cowens is the same size as Kemba Walker, Trey Young, and DJ Augustine, and all three has had no problem adjusting to the NBA game. I just hope a team looks more at Cowens' game instead of his physical stature when it comes time to make a decision. I can't see them regretting it.